Hey, this is David from Worship Online, and today I'm gonna to show you one of my favorite things. It's how to use a sub bass and electric bass together. Now you might ask yourself, like, why would I even need this in the first place? And I think for modern worship, it's a really great tool to use, similar to how a drummer at your church might use a drum pad to create new sounds that are still drums, but it has a unique take to it. You know, for us bass players, sometimes we really want to still be playing the lower octaves, but maybe we don't need the aggressive tone of an electric bass. And I got a couple songs to show you where I play Moog at the beginning of the song at certain points, and then I transition into electric bass pretty seamlessly, and I'll show you how to do that. And so for part two of this video, I'm gonna give an in-depth look at my pedal board, how I have it set up, and how I have my Moog set up so that you can blend them really well together when you're using them live. Click the link below, enter in your email, and we'll send it to you right away. So for example, for the song Nothing Else, I'm playing Moog pretty much from the second chorus all the way out until the drums come in on the bridge. And that's something that for a song like that, it's pretty sparse up until that big bridge, but you still wanna be adding an element to the song. So a lot of times in a song, I will decide what kind of tone does the bass need. A Moog or any sort of sub bass can really provide a really deep round sound that you might have a hard time creating with an electric bass, just because these have strings and frets and it has its own unique sound. Whereas this gives you a really dark round sound that you might need for some of these softer songs, but you still want to add an element of low end. So if you notice, this Moog, I can get it also an octave lower than my electric bass. So if you don't want to detune everything, you can still play a very low octave to give it a nice unique sound that is in contrast to your electric bass. And what you'll see in the upcoming playthrough is me playing Moog, and I have this little unique tool that I use to really help transition from my Moog to my bass, and that's really just a simple sustain pedal. I've seen a lot of bass players not have a sustain pedal, and they're, they're, they have a hard time transitioning from their left hand on the Moog to then getting ready to play bass. But what I've noticed is if you just have a sustain, I'm putting my foot down on the sustain pedal and I still have the note being played so I can transition. I put my both, both my hands are free. So that's something that is a really great tool to use and it, you'll see me doing it throughout the playthrough. I'll stomp on this and as it'll pretty much just play whatever note I hit without having to really use the keyboard that much. So it'll let me transition to electric bass. So let's go take a look at how I play nothing else. Open up my heart to you.
For our next song, it'll be Battle Belongs by Phil Wickham. For this, it's gonna be a little different than the previous song you just watched. This is where I'm jumping around from bass and Moog at the same time, and why I would use it then versus when I would switch to electric bass. So for nothing else, you saw me really just using this at the beginning of the song, and then I transitioned to bass from the rest of the song out. For Battle Belongs, I'm playing both at the same time at the intro, and then I'm switching to Moog for chorus one, and then jumping back onto bass pretty much the rest of the song. But it's another moment where chorus one is down, but it doesn't need to be too down. You can play kind of the more rounder sounding bass notes with the Moog, and then jumping back on to electric bass. So it's not just a one or the other, you can use them at the same time, and I think it's really fun. For the intro, you're gonna notice that the song, if you're playing in the original key, is in C sharp. And so the intro is really just, you're just driving the one, the just the tonic of the song. And if you don't wanna detune your bass to a low C sharp, if you have your Moog handy, you know, you can kind of create whatever sound you want this a little bit more aggressive since this is an aggressive song. So you have your low C sharp right there. So that's just something that's a, an added touch where as long as you have sustain pedal, it'll always play whatever the last note you just played. So for me, it's always gonna be the C sharp. It's just a really nice addition to your bass that can kind of really fill in the low end that you might be missing from just using a pick and uh, electric bass.
nothing can stand against the power of our God. You shine in the shadows. You win every battle. Nothing can stand against the power. today's playthroughs really gave you a good understanding of how to use synth bass and electric bass together in the same song. Remember, one of the key features to making this happen is the sustain pedal. It is the tool to use to help you seamlessly transition without missing a beat. And if you want a better breakdown of how I use these settings for the Moog, go to worshiponline.com and see some of my previous blog posts where I break down how I use my synth bass in worship music. And for part two, I'm really excited about this one. I'm gonna be breaking down my settings on my pedal board and some of my settings in my Moog and how to get them to sound well together. In order to get that, click the link below and type in your email and we'll send it to you right away. Let's go check it out.